In this video, we explore an application framework called Ubiquitous ID Architecture and what it can achieve in the field of ubiquitous computing. With Ubiquitous ID or UID architecture, we assign a simple 128-bit ID number, a number called a U-code, to objects and places we want to identify. By itself, the U-code is meaningless. But when we send the U-code to a server on a computer network, we can retrieve information associated with it from information servers. A process called resolution takes place, and we obtain an address. Often, this is an Internet URL one can access to obtain useful information. Since we use network access to obtain the meaning for each U-code, access is controlled at the network access stage. We can grant access to different information at different times, based on who, when, or where they are. The number of IDs in the ID space is 2 to the power of 128, a huge number. Even if a trillion people assigned unique U-code values to a trillion objects every day for a trillion years, we would still not have used up all the U-code space. With so many numbers available, no U-code is ever reused. We simply assign a new U-code ID for each identifiable different item. There are no a priori meanings assigned to the U-code bit fields, so it is relatively easy to embed shorter legacy product code systems in U-code space because no collisions of meanings assigned to bit fields are likely. Everything we want to identify, namely objects and places, are tagged. This is why we use so many different types of tags to meet application needs such as cost, physical characteristics, etc. Our approach is tag agnostic. We can use any type of tag. UID architecture builds a bridge between the real world of tagged objects and places and the virtual world of information about the objects and locations.